Toby, Gene, JD Show. How are you all doing today? Toby, hey, what's hey, going J- on? Hey, J- JD, you know, I, I, I've got some notes uh, from our last podcast that will continue on. And uh, I, hey, cheers. His, his to the United States of America. May it stay and go back to where people and families start talking to each other and stop going into this violence and, and being brainwashed and becoming sheeple, okay, and being people. Yeah, start being right. people and stop being sheeple. Yeah, That's this, a this, great this, saying. Yeah, I wonder if we need to, I think we should get a bumper sticker with that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like that S- idea. Stop mm. being people and stop being sheeple. You know, yeah, it's, wow. It's like shit happens, uh, it's the same thing. Oh, that drink's good. Okay. Hey, you know, the last one we were talking, the time we were talking, uh, we were talking about uh, uh, taking the uh, Confederate names and slave owners and and taking down the uh, monuments and so forth, and how you can erase history. Okay, but I'm going to throw this question to you, J.D., and all our listeners. <clears throat> Excuse me. How about New York? Are we going to change that name? I don't know. Should we? Well, look. The New York was named after, and you can look this up, York. The Duke of York, who was a big slave owner, and he, he dealt buying and selling slaves. So I think that we need to do away with the name uh, New York. What do you think? Yeah, I wonder what we should call it. Like uh, um, I, I don't know. We might want to call it like, uh, oh, I don't know what we could call that's it. A good, uh, that's, that's yeah, a good, that's a thought. I, I, I hey, if, maybe, maybe some of our listeners might have an idea. Um, yeah. You can call in at 844-429-3579, yeah. or you can email us at tobygandjdshow at gmail.com. Yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it I like how I threw one. that in there, huh? But, yeah, how, yeah, but how about that? How about that? How, I'm getting better you at this. You didn't think that New York, I mean, that's a racist city. I'm tell, I didn't have no idea. I didn't either until I heard it yesterday. Well, there is a lot of racists that live there. Yeah, though. I know, I know. You know yeah, there's I mean, a lot of racists oh, everywhere. I could tell you Black, story, white, yeah. you know, all, all nationalities. Yeah, exactly. So. And, you know, speaking of all this, let's get out of this problem that we're having. I mean, let's, let's talk about a couple other things. Venezuela is collapsing right in front oh, of us, I and that's know. in our hemisphere. And, I mean, it is it's really bad. That's socialism, okay? Socialism doesn't work. That's Bernie Sando, Sanders and the left. Progressives, they want socialism. Socialism doesn't work. You can look at Cuba. Cuba right now is running Venezuela. Venezuela is burning at the seams, coming apart at the seams. Uh, it, it's terrible. There is a tanker in the Gulf of Mexico filled uh, with uh, oil, uh, and it has nowhere to go. There's nobody will take it in, but Venezuela can't come up with the uh, that letter of credit to uh, back up that uh, that tanker. And they are completely, the people are starving. You're only seeing the news clips that the media wants to show you, oh. and you're not seeing the truth of what's happening in Venezuela. Venezuela, the people are in trouble they have no food. They go into Guatemala and places like that, trying to get over the border. To get I think they're food. trying to get here. They're trying to get they, to America. They're trying to, well, they, they, some of those people should be allowed into America. It's yeah. unlike what's happening in other places. Okay. We, I uh, had lunch uh, with, a, with a very good friend of mine, and <coughs> he's a reverend, and he, his favorite vacation spot is uh, Cancun. Oh, wow. And he's been married many times, and I keep saying, well, you're going to Mexico. You could be out of your mind. Uh, yeah. But, you know, a lot of the cartel owns a lot of some of the resorts and, and restaurants and things, and it has been relatively safe. And he went there this time, and he happened to, you know, there's a couple of Mexicans there that uh, he was talking to that he has seen in the past. And uh, he, 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 they, they, told, they were telling him, no, tourists don't go to Acapulco anymore. And a lot of the servers and people that work in the in the uh, in the industry, the tourism industry, n- now have moved to Cancun. Wow! Now this fellow he was talking to a young guy. Uh, he went to the gas station, uh, gassed up, and uh, all he noticed he says, "I don't have a twenty-five gallon gas tank." Go ahead. So he had to go, and he had to go look for another gas station to start gassing up his car. Because the cartel is taking over the gas stations, and and, and they're manipulating the uh, uh, the pumps. So they're moving in. They're starting to have some deaths in uh, in uh, Cancun, and there's a lot of uh, problems on the border that we're not hearing about. Uh, there's mass murders. They're finding. Uh, 
uh, mass graves that some of the uh, cartel has shot at our border patrol, but you don't hear that on the mainstream media. Uh, it's it's just not. They don't talk about it because they don't want you to know because they don't want to have a wall go up on our border. And the Republicans and the Democrats are doing everything along with the mainstream media and George Soros and other uh, left-wing people and deep right people to stop uh, Trump from building a wall to make us safe. And all they want is uh, they don't want to be we, – we people – I voted for Donald Trump. And I voted for him because I I didn't vote for him in the primary, but I voted for him because I didn't want to vote for a treasonous uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, which I felt was uh, committed treason, especially Benghazi bothers me until today, how uh, that we didn't go there to save our people on our soil, because uh, when you have a uh, embassy in another uh, country that belongs to us, they are under siege, they were pleading for help. And they went to bed that night and did nothing to save those people. Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and Panetta should be tried for treason just on that case alone. They didn't even try to save them. I agree. Okay. That bothers me until today. And, 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 and every <coughs> Republicans, Democrats, they, close, they turn the blind eye to those atrocities. And there's many more uh, atrocities that were created. And try to turn a blind eye... For. The people voted for Donald Trump. Regardless what your thoughts are and how he handles this position, they, regard, they voted for him. They voted for Barack Obama. I hated Barack Obama. Till today, I hated him. He was what I thought he was. He was a communist. He's a, I can't say he's a Muslim. <laughs> I don't know if he was a Muslim, but I would think that he was because he, <clears throat> he had a Muslim in the White House, which was Valerie Jarrett who is a Muslim, who is an Iranian. That's why they gave those billions of dollars to Iran. John Kerry, who is the Secretary of State, his daughter married an Iranian doctor who is connected to the, the Iranian that he was negotiating with for the, the deal that they made. Bunch of crooks, treasonous crooks, they should be accounted for. The people voted for Donald Trump as they want to do away with it <clears throat> with the crooks that we have right now, and they're doing everything they can to stop Donald Trump. Everything. I need a drink on that one. Yeah, you do. I'll tell you, it's, uh, it's rough. We need to go to another subject. Okay, I'll give you another subject. You're not going to believe this one, okay? Go for it. In California, they just have a new bill that you will go to prison if you are a health care worker and in a nursing home, hospital, or any place like that, and you do not refend refer to the gender of the person. In other words, if they say, I have the gender of a dog, you've got to call me Bow Wow. Okay? I mean, I don't know how to... I, this is so out of control already. You have... If you don't refer to them by the gender that they want to be referred to, you can go to prison. Hmm. You can go to prison. That's what we need, to have all kinds of pr- okay. people in prison for uh, that kind of crap. Yeah. I, I think that... Politicians should go to prison for what they're doing. Okay? Yeah, especially if that's if that's what they're doing. They're I mean, that's of, ridiculous. They're out of their freaking mind. They're out of their mind. And that's it's part that, of draining the swamp, right? We need to drain that swamp, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is true. I read this this morning. Wow. And, and I'm not reading this on Facebook where you get a lot of bullshit. I'm not getting this from CNN. Well, you wouldn't get anything like this from CNN anyway. No. I do dig in, you know, and this, this, when I read this, I, I, I mean, I looked a little deeper and I'm saying, I, I, this is stuff's hard to believe. This is really hard to believe. And a lot of the uh, people out there do not realize that we're going into a civil war right now. Today, they're going to, this is Saturday, this is the 19th of August. They are protesting, both sides. There's a, supposedly a small protest of Ku Klux Klan, white supremacists in Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, <clears throat> now, the police, they got 500 police and they have backup. They put up barriers to keep them apart. They're outnumbered by ant, ant, Antifa, which don't have permits to protest. You watch. You will see the con- condemnation, which I'm condemning as well, the white supremacists, because they're, they're, they're bad people, but you're not going to see the condemn, condemnation of Antifa. Antifa is a lot, is a lot of paid groups. And we'll, we'll watch this today, and we'll, and we'll see... 
I definitely uh, will uh, talk about it later. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. And, you know, another thing, you know, we, we talk about the Bitcoin a lot. Finally, which I'm not, I'm not far, Australia is going to start regulating the Bitcoin. Are they? Yep. Wow. They're going to start regulating the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin is now, and, and I don't understand the Bitcoin, and I've been, I've been learning a little bit more. Uh, at, at this point in my life, I guess I'm a slow learner. <laughs> and uh, that's why I have JD handle my computers. I'm telling and, you, uh, you know, that's why we have that business. That's why he has uh, you know computers and websites that and write. And, uh, you know, he handles the... Uh, my computers and stuff because I don't understand a lot. Yeah, of well, stuff. we might as well tell them the phone number. It's 941-240-2675. And the website's computersdoneright.com. Uh, if you have a problem with your computer, you know, go to my website, click on Get Remote Support uh, like Toby does, and um, then I'll be able to uh, help you out. And I'm located here in Venice, Florida, um, local and, you know, owned by a local person, not somebody from overseas or uh, don't have a call center other than my own. So please, if I don't answer the phone, leave a voicemail, and I will get back with you pretty quickly. Um, even on the weekends, I'm available. So anytime. If John so, of course, answer, if we're recording here, it's a little yeah, difficult. If John to doesn't answer. He's Paul will answer. Tom will answer. Yeah, somebody, i got some other people somebody, here that somebody, like somebody, somebody Somebody's answer, going to answer. Yeah. Um, and they're going to solve your problem. They've always, that's how John and I met about six, seven years ago. So I had problems with my computer, but maybe longer. Well, well, it's been a while. That's eight years. Yeah, wow, holy yeah. Oh, well, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, and uh, we, kind of, we kind of get together, and uh, we're doing this now. But, you know, this is uh, a lot of things happening. Like I was saying about the Bitcoin before, we got uh, rudely interrupted yeah. with that uh, commercial. <laughs> uh, Japan is already uh, regulating it, and you're going to see it in the United States. They're going to regulate it because they want to, make, they want to find, figure out a way to tax it. But they're, now they're, different governments are legitimizing the Bitcoin, and that means... That's why the Bitcoin's going up. It went over four thousand dollars this week. Don't forget, several years ago that came out at ten dollars a coin. Now it's up to four thousand. I still question a lot of it, but I believe that uh, the Fed uh, we're going to do away. They'll do away with the dollar, and they'll have a some sort of uh, digital currency that we'll be using to buy goods and services. That's another way they'll control you. Uh, all of a sudden, you owe the uh, government a uh, few bucks they'll just take it right out of your account with the uh, uh, you authorizing it. Hmm. it's a slippery slope and we the people are allowing it to happen and it's got to stop yes it does it's got to stop and you know i don't think it's going to because they you know although there's a silent majority out there and i'm not part of the silent majority because i'm opening my big mouth and i'll probably get in trouble for it but uh jd i mean you know Things are, are not good right now. I no, mean, they're not. They're, they're, not. they're I mean, not good. Like we talked about on our previous podcast, I mean, it's the, the police are under siege. Our country's under siege, um, you know, from the outside and from the inside. And, um, it, you know, the Civil War is coming. Uh, you know, I've never believed that in the past, but seeing more and more of this stuff going on, uh, it's sad to say, but I believe it is going to happen. And, uh, you know, we need to uh, either be better prepared or put a stop to it before it does go too far. I don't know how we're going to stop it, but people need to be aware of it. The sheeple need to become people oh, yeah. again. The sheeple never be, they need to become people. And you know what? If, if they, for some reason, get Donald Trump out of office, Pause. the shit will hit the fan. I'm, and it'll be... It'll, it'll really, really, really get, uh, get, get really scary... And we really need to pay attention to uh, what's going on uh, in in this United States because as we have problems I- internally, JD, we have our enemies outside, which is China, North Korea. We have Iran and and Russia, and they are laughing their butt off right now, and they're saying, you know, they, we we are we are making they got it away so, with a lot. We're yeah. making it so easy yeah. for them, so easy. And listen, you know. You really, really need to go myangelsclaw.com, click on the banner that says Big Berkey, go there, read about it. It's not just for calamities, for war or civil war, even though we believe uh, we're going to have a lot of problems in this country this year and next year. Hurricanes, flooding, tornadoes, 
when you don't have water, I mean, it, it, it's, it's the best water purification system on the market. Go there, read about it yourself, click on the uh, ad, it'll take you to their website. Um, we're not saying put in a code for us, or you don't need, just go there, look at it, do yourself a favor. It's very important, it'll, it'll help you. I agree. It's a uh, it's a great site to get the information from, and uh, Berkey Big Berkey is um, a great product, and you know we're looking at uh, getting one at our house. Well, I, I tell you, JD, you know, here's a, here's a little story for you. Who said this? Someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. I like that. That's interesting. Yeah. Who said that? Someone is sitting in the shade today, but someone planted a seed for a tree a long time ago. Actually, Warren Buffett. Did he? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Warren Buffett. He probably did that. Very interesting. Smart, Cheers, Warren. He's, he's my guy. I mean, I, that, was, that was good. Another one I said, uh, sometimes you can't see yourself clearly until you see yourself through the eyes of others. That's true. Okay. That is true. That is true. Who and said that, Toby? Oh, well, oh, I didn't say that. Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, Ellen DeGeneres? Oh, my goodness. Ellen I can't DeGeneres. believe you got a quote from her. Holy, wow, I'm impressed. Holy baloney. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, one more, all right? Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. But why won't they let you question global warming? Hmm. All right, let me... Let me uh, that Let's was talk Albert, about that. That was yeah. Albert Einstein. Yeah, right? there you go. Learn from yesterday, yep. live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Now, you can't question global warming, which I don't believe in. Let's get that on the table, and I don't care if you, you know. Everybody's got the right to believe in what they want to believe in. Sure. Yeah. Well, at and, least in America. Well, that's kind of going away. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and that's why, you know, uh, uh, sheeple out there need to take their heads out of the sand, you know. Keep listening to us. You know, we'll figure a few things out. We'll throw some things out there. And, you know, we just, just need to uh, just keep rolling along and stop what's going to happen. And don't believe any of the news that you read on Facebook unless you investigate it. There's so I have a very good friend of mine. He has, he's a Ph.D., very high IQ, okay? And, you know, he, he says, read this, you know. I says, you can't. That's not true. He says, it is true. I says, it isn't. And while he was on the phone with me, I researched it and fact-checked it, and it was false. And he fact-checked it, and he apologized because, I mean, people are so gullible, it, get, it's, it becomes, it's dangerous. Yeah, it is, it is. and it, that's It's really you know, dangerous. That's our uh, new saying, you know, uh, sheeple need to change back to people. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's just, you've got to, like you said, facts check and find out what's true and what's not true. Do the research. Don't believe everything that you see on TV or that you read on Facebook or any of the other social medias that are out there, the tweets and the Twitter and the YouTube and all that. I mean, you know, do the research. You'll find out that a lot of this is true that yeah. we're telling you, and a lot of it is not true that they're telling you. Absolutely. absolutely. You know, they're, they're talking about, uh, you know, naturally they didn't, they didn't, the cowards didn't pass uh, health care, which it didn't look like a good bill anyway. It looked terrible. They, yeah. they should just cancel the freaking thing. They should have had it all set up all right, but the Republicans failed again. They have the House, they have the Senate, and they have they have the uh, presidency, and they can't and they get out of their own way. Yeah. They can't get out of their own freaking way. They deserve what they get, and hopefully they'll get crushed. But we have nothing else. Well, I was going to say, um, there's not much to crush them except uh, people who need to be gone. They, they, they all need to be gone. But, you know, you got tax reform coming, okay? And, well, that'll be Okay, fun. now... You know, I talk <clears throat> about finance sometimes, and I don't have a financial degree. Let's you, let's talk about some common sense about finance. Sure. Okay. We have the highest corporate tax in the world. Okay. We need to lower that tax to about seventeen percent, in my estimation, and cut out a lot of the other uh, loopholes in that tax code. But we need to lower the tax to about seventeen percent, in my estimation. Second, the best way to help the worker and not help the 1% is do away with the payroll tax. You're doing two things. You're 
helping the corporation or the company you're working for or the mom and pop operation because they have to pay into the payroll tax as well. And there's no payroll tax coming out of your pay. That's more money in your pocket every week. It what about the uh, Social Security part of it? What about that? Do we well, still you take have that to. You have to keep up with you the Social Security. You take that out. Yeah, yeah so I take that. You can't touch no that. Payroll. Gotcha. If you get do away with the payroll tax, you will have money, more money in your pocket. It comes into the several thousand dollars a year uh, in your pocket. And, and the, the company you're working for, a small mom and pop operation, big corporation, whatever, will have more money as well that they can put into their business creating more jobs. And get your head out of your butt. $15 an hour for minimum wage is crazy. Well, that's why they got all those computers and robots now in a lot of those places that they used to be. People, you know, help, people help push it. Yeah, that's what they wanted. Yeah. They wanted to make more money, so the ones that are making more money are you doing know, all the everybody work. Everybody has. The rest, and then the, the, you should have the opportunity you know. to make more money. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, you get out and get an education yeah. or start your own business if you want to. All right, you are, get out of high school or you're in high school, you go work for McDonald's. Let's use them as an example. Sure. Okay? Yeah. You work and you work your butt off, you do a good job, you don't go to college. Next thing you know, you're assistant manager if you work hard and uh, good enough. It doesn't happen overnight. And then next thing you know, you go to, uh, you get a raise and uh, somebody offers you a job at Chick fil A, they're paying you more money. Next thing you know, you're the manager of the store, okay? And then next thing you know, you get a franchise of Chick-fil-A or McDonald's or Burger King or whatever. And that's how you get ahead in this world. Someone that just comes out of school and expects to pay for a family working in McDonald's, they need to go further than that. Because yeah, that's, not not, that's, that's just a stepping point. That's a learning point. And if, and they sh- if, if it's up to McDonald's whether they want to give, give a pay raise or not. And it's, it's the individual store. They're franchises. They're, they're small individual stores. They can't afford to be paying $15 an hour. Um, I'm just going to change a, the I subject here. I, that, yeah, you need to drink on that. I've got to change the subject. I just thought of something when you were talking about that. Um, as you can tell from my hat, I'm an NFL fan, especially the Buccaneers. Well, the Atlanta Falcons have built a very expensive new stadium up uh, in Atlanta for them to, or somewhere close by there, for them to play in. And, you know, a lot of the franchises, um, they get in there and they, they put in their restaurants and stuff because they're going to make a lot of money, not just on Sunday, but also on the other events. And uh, I found it sort of funny that a Chick-fil-A went in, um, in the, into their stadium to be open uh, or, to you know, to, for people to buy food from. But if you, any of you out there know anything about Chick-fil-A, they're closed on Sundays. Yes. Uh, makes a lot of sense for Chick Fil A to be in there because NFLs, you know, uh, most of the games are played on Sunday. Wow! So the only time they're going to be open will be on the Thursday night game and Monday night games that Atlanta Falcons are probably have got a couple of. But I found that quite amazing that they would be a restaurant in a and there and yeah, not be wow. open yeah. because they're they're, they're, they're religion and I and I respect yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah. what? If they want to be closed on Sunday, that's, that's their business. That's that's their choice. I mean. <clears throat> Um, you know, that's. I thought that was they, sort they, of interesting. Yeah, the I'm, drink's I'm, getting low. I know. I need some uh, more in there. Thank you. Yeah, you, know, you got to fill that glass up there. Uh, there you go. You're just trying to get me drunk. I know what uh, you're trying to do. I'm going to fish this bottle up. I'll, it. I'll get another one. Bring another one in? Okay. Yeah, I'll get another one. You know, um, yeah, it, you know, they're a great company. I, I heard a story about it that, them this week. And uh, I, I love their food. Okay, they, they're <coughs> polite. You go in, they take care of you. I mean, I mean it's... It's real Clean, it's chicken. Good. Yeah, it's, it's not, good. It's not pressed. It's really, it's really, fake crap. Really, really good. And but apparently there was this homeless guy and his son, and they had they ran on bad times, and they they were hungry, and they went to Chick Fil A, and and they asked for the manager, and they said, "Could we work for food? Yeah, we're very very hungry, and, and we'll do anything you want." And we'll clean anything the whole bit. And the manager just brought him in the front, ordered what they, whatever they wanted, sat him down, didn't require him to work, and fed him. Okay. They have a positive attitude on life. That, yeah. I mean, it's a nice company. We're not getting paid for saying. No, this. no, we're not. We're not. Okay? I like going there. I mean, I don't. I'm not a fast food uh, junkie, but I like going there. And oh, speaking of food, yeah. Okay, listen, about I mean, this is. I happened to go to um, Clearwater, Florida, uh, this past week. I think it was this past week, and I met I met a couple of people at, uh, for lunch. And uh, this person, you know, works right near this Mexican restaurant. Cool. And we walk in, 
The place is full of Mexican people, workers, and, and you know, then probably landscape or construction or whatever. And it was clean. It was lovely. We ordered, I ordered the food, what I had, and even the chips and everything were made on premises. It was delicious. I, and I'm not a Mexican food eater. It was delicious. It all makes, almost makes me feel like driving up there to just to have dinner, and it was cheap. Wow. It was absolutely fantastic. We all enjoyed it. There was four of us, and it was fantastic. And uh, it, it, I don't have the name. In, I couldn't pronounce it anyway, but, you know. <laughs> It was really terrific. It was in an industrial area, and it, it, was, it was really good. But you know, that being said, if you if you go to an ethnic restaurant, whether it be Mexican, Vietnamese, or Chinese, or whatever, Russian, or whatever, if if they're in there eating, you know it's got to be good. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be, and that's that's always a good sign when you see uh, you know those any any like you said ethnic uh, restaurant if they've got their own people in there serving it, cooking it, and eating it. That's a good sign. Yeah, I, I, I think so. And uh, what's going on in the tech world, uh, J.D.? Anyway? Well, you know, the usual hacks, the usual viruses. I mean, people... Um, you call me a hack? Yeah, you're a hack. Okay. You know, if you, don't, if you don't have uh, antivirus software on your computer um, and you don't have it running, doing, it, doing its job, a lot of people install it and they don't ever set it up to run on a regular basis. It runs in the background, but it needs to scan the whole hard drive. Um, you know, you can give us a call. We can help out with it. With that, excuse me. Um, the um, big thing is now: be careful what you click on. Watch, you know, the emails. There's a lot of ransomware out there. A lot of them, are, a lot of them are changing the code. And they, you know, the locky, the all kinds of names out there. I mean, and they're they're just trying to get your information so that they can go and and uh, hold your your files hostage. They lock them. Uh, make sure you're backing up. That's the biggest thing. You need to have something local and in the cloud. And that means not not sitting or connected to your computer. A local backup should be done and then unplugged from the computer and put in a firebox. Uh, those things are important. And then the cloud should back up daily. Um, you can do the the uh, local backup weekly or monthly. Uh, that doesn't matter. So uh, it needs to be done. People aren't doing it. I see it all the time. They come in. I've got one here on the bench now that came in. And the first thing I did was try to back up their software or their data just in case. Because you never know what's wrong with it, and you may have to, uh, you may lose everything. And then you know maybe this family has a lot of family photos that they don't want to lose. I don't know what's on there because I don't look at the files. I just back them up. So um, if you need any help, give me a call nine four one two four zero twenty six seventy five. Hey JD, you know uh, in our last podcast we made this offer, and we uh, I've got another fifty bumper stickers. If you're with us as far as term limits go. Uh, Here's a bumper sticker. Term limits drain the swamp. Go into our email. Send us an email with your name and address. I'll send it to you free. No charge. Put it on your car. Join the movement. I mean, term limits are very important. That's that's one way we're gonna, we could save this country. you got to get rid of those politicians that they get there. They're there for 30 years. They're on the take. Do you know that you know, a politician today, whether it be the, the turkeys like uh, the, the the crook like uh, Maxine Waters, uh, uh, you got uh, Lindsey Graham, you got John McCain. They've been there forever. Okay, they've been they've been there forever. And uh, Schumer uh, and McConnell and Ryan, they can they they know that, that what's what's in some of these bills that they're going to pass, and they can buy the stock in the company that's going to benefit. They it's inside trading. They don't go to jail for it. You do it or I do it, we go to jail. Okay. Yeah, very true. We need to get rid of these freaking turkeys. We need to get rid of the lobbyists. If they have term limits, you'll be able to start draining those lobbyists out of the swamp as well. You need to do it. They voted in Trump to drain the swamp. Now they're trying to get rid of them because, I mean, they're putting up every obstacle. Let me tell you something. Trump is going down. He is not going to make his term. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, he's not going to make his term. And I'm, that's sad to say. Uh, again, I... I wasn't in favor of him in the primary. He, he's got in. I kept my mouth shut during Obama's term. I and, and, and I, I, just, he, I was very right be, the first time he was going to take down this country. And believe me, he divided this country. You know, they say, "Oh, you're prejudiced." Well, white people elected him. And the second thing is, I don't like his half his white side either. Okay. 
All right, if you want to get one of those bumper stickers, it's eight. Uh, you can call us and leave us the information, 844-429-3579, or you can email us at tobyg and jdshow at gmail.com. Uh, put in the um, part, put bumper sticker and leave us your address and your name so that we can uh, call you and our uh, phone number would be nice too, call you and verify that it's really you and, and then we'll get one mailed out to you. Yeah, you know, JD. You know, the other thing is, we 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 talk about finance sometimes and everything. The stock market is, it's a slight pullback. But everybody say, "Oh, the stock market's down four days in a row." Hey, it's still over twenty one thousand. It's still way okay. up. Yeah. It's, and and you know, there's been a lot of turmoil. It's got to correct itself. There is nowhere else to put your money. I mean, you've got Europe is imploding. Okay, Europe is. I mean, you. I can't understand how anybody would want to go to Europe for a vacation. Like these river cruises and and the whole nine yards. I was going to go on one, and you know I'm going to go to Ireland in in, in May, I believe. Uh, but you know that Ireland's in, in pretty good shape, and parts of Scotland are pretty good shape. So that's that's where I'm going to next May. Cool. But um, I I wouldn't go to the rest of the rest of Europe. I wouldn't go uh, right now. And I'm sure that they're uh, you know they're hurting to, uh, as far as tourism go. But there's no other place to put their money in except the United States stock market. Worst place to be in right now is the U.S. bonds. Any kind of bonds. Get out of freaking bonds. You know how they say, you're financial. I'm not a financial planner. Uh, use a little common sense, they say. You need a balanced portfolio. Bullshit. Why do you need a balanced portfolio? When the stocks go up, your bonds go down. You didn't make any money. The bonds go up, the stocks go down. You didn't make any money. Are you in this just to have a balanced portfolio so you can pay commissions to the the, the persons that are telling you this? You're gonna be out of your freaking mind. All right, you gotta to go to somebody that either knows how to trade stocks following charts, or if you really value your money, learn how to do it yourself. Okay, and we're gonna start following some stocks shortly. You know, we're good, gonna talk good. about them. And it, that's going to come up in the next few uh, podcasts. We're running a little behind on what we said we were going to do. Yeah, I tell you, it's it's uh, been challenging keeping up with all this. So, um. a lot of things. I mean, listen. And the other thing is, I buy gold and buy silver, buy a little every month, and yep. don't put it. In a, if you can't touch it, you don't hold it. Don't let anybody hold it for you. Okay, bring it home. I've told you a couple of places. Go on myangelscloud.com, myangelscloud.com. Click on financial. Teaches you how to make a false bottom on the draw where you can hide cash, you can hide diamonds, you can hide money, you can hide gold, silver, whatever you want. It teaches you how, It's a video. It teaches you how to make it. That's one place that you can hide your gold and silver or whatever. Bring it home. Do 10 draws at your house. Do that. Put an alarm system. Go learn. Get your gun license. Protect yourself. Be responsible with it. Go to classes. Go to the range. Take care of yourself because nobody's going to... The shit hits the fan. Nobody's going to take care of you. That's right. Uh, be you on know, your own. When you need help in 30 seconds, the cops are only 20 minutes away. Okay, Cops come after the crime happens. The crime has happened. Then you call the police. What's important? Saving your life? Look, you really, really need to... Do these things that I'm saying, okay? And keep listening to our podcast and have a drink with us because I need another drink after that one. Yes, you do. Uh, uh, cheers. And uh, don't forget, uh, you sheep will need to turn back into people. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And don't forget, if you can pay off your car, do it because if you don't can't touch it, you don't own it. If you can't touch that title, you can't touch that mortgage, that deed to your house, you don't own it. The bank and you own it. A lot of us are in that position. Thankfully, I'm not, but that's not the point. The point is, get out of debt. In these times, the less debt you have, the better chance you have for survival. So, and go to, click on the Big Berkey. The Big Berkey... Uh, Got that on, uh, the, on the website. Yeah, right? MyAngelsCloud.com. Yeah. Click on it. You need. You can't live without water. You can't, and you shouldn't be drinking this water anyway. I mean, fluoride's one of the worst things you can put on. Fluoride is it comes from aluminum. Alcor Aluminum paid millions of dollars to scientists to figure out how they're going to get rid of this product that was they were, that was a byproduct of aluminum. They came up with paying millions of dollars to the dental association to say that it was good for your teeth. Okay, it can be good for you. Two your teeth. What's it doing for the rest of your body? It's yeah, killing right. you. Yeah. That's what it's doing. It's killing you. Do you know aspartame? 
Okay, aspartame is in drinks. It's in diet drinks. When you see a drink that says diet drink, don't buy it. You're not going to lose weight by drinking a drink that says diet drink. If you have two drinks of soda, and they say, oh, the calories are going to be, that's a bunch of baloney. They put aspartame in it. Aspartame is a chemical. That chemical is dangerous to your body. You know who invented, who owns the company that had aspartame? No. Okay. Uh, oh. No, I just, I, was just, I just had his, his name. Oh. He was the, um, the uh, defense secretary under Reagan, I think it was, or Bush. Hmm. Uh, anyway, he got it approved with the, uh, uh, and, and put into diet drinks. Aspartame. You're putting, it's a chemical. The guy's making millions and millions of dollars. Amazing. You know, you don't want to put chemicals in your body. And, you know, you got to start eating healthy. You know, it's a, you never know what you're eating, but you got to, you got to believe in something. And, but just stay away from the chemicals. You so what are we labels. going to talk about next week? Listen. Any ideas, or are we just going to follow oh, the we'll, we'll talk. Goal. We're going we're to see what goes on in, in, in the world. That sounds like time, a plan. We, I think that we should talk again about honey. We talked about it in the past. Yep. And uh, the different varieties of honey and what it can do for you. We'll talk about the uh, what how good cider vinegar is for you. Um, I'll try to have some tech tips uh, to help out with that as well. Yeah, and you know we, we're looking for ideas from uh, from our audience to uh, to come in. We we might talk to uh, uh, if uh, Sweet Treats is back. Maybe we'll interview uh, Joanne. Uh, yeah, Joanne, the, uh, uh, small business great. here that uh, she's uh, we're going to be doing a couple Sweet things treats with her. Yep, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And uh, we've got a lot of good things coming up. We've been trying to uh, get a couple things right. Uh, you know, a lot of the sayings we've been talking about, you trip once in a while and you just come up that much stronger. Yep. And uh, we're running a 1,000 miles an hour, and we hope to please you. Give us some suggestions. Uh, we can take mild criticism, harsh criticism. We can take it all. Yeah, we'll take it all. 844-429-3579, or you can email us at tobyg and jdshow at gmail.com. Hope you all have a great week. Yep. Yep.